guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today's video is showing you around casper's wardrobe so i have a little special guest here say hello hello yeah and so many of you ask me where casper's clothes are from how i lay out casper's wardrobe so what i thought i would do is literally just show you around his wardrobe so i'm going to show you where a few pieces are from and i'm also going to show you like the layout of his wardrobe so everything that i show you will pretty much be listed in the description box below and everything that i show you i will also kind of tag on the screen so that you know what you're looking for in the description box so before we jump into this video it also includes a gifted collaboration with a company called Lapa or L-A-P-A so their clothing is a bit like the Pat Pat range and they have sent me and Casper a nice big bunch of clothes. So firstly we'll start with the top drawer which is Barry Barry Basics so we've got plenty of socks in here they're from a mixture of places like Next and then H&M I've got all these little tiny socks and then these big thicker ones are from next so I will tag both below then we're moving on to vests so we have loads and loads of vests we've got small ones here with just the sleeves so just a basic vest so all our basic vests are from Marks and Spencers. So these are the short sleeved basic vests. I think you literally need so many vests, especially this time of year, because they go under everything. They go under all the baby grows, all the outfits, and then sometimes they literally just wear a vest on its own. Like Casper is modelling now, he's just got a little vest on, and he's just like a little naked baby. He just likes wearing not many clothes. Do you, bud? <coughs> yeah. A womb. Yeah, yum. So we've then got the long sleeved baby vests which are from Max and Spencer's as well. So I will also link these below. These are great for under baby grows at this time of year because it gets cold in our bedroom as we don't have the heating on in the day. We then have the H&M fold over vests in here too. So the ones that sort of fold and fasten down the sides. I am absolutely obsessed with these. I love this style. But unfortunately these are getting a little bit too small for Casper now. So any more that are going to come through and get washed and put in straight into our little bag that we're saving for the next baby because I don't think he's going to have many more wears out of these but these are from H&M and they just have like this gorgeous little fold here at the side and then over here we have all his long sleeve t-shirts so we've got these gorgeous H&M ones that come in a big set there's a few in the wash as well so they're just a gorgeous like brown beigey stone colours and then there's a grey one I think there's one a bit similar to this a bit lighter and then there was two white ones so these are perfect at this time of year over the top of the baby vest and then with a pair of leggings or a pair of joggers and then in this one we just have really random outfits I can't really tag where any of these things are from because they're not really branded they're just sort of like random one-offs then second drawer down we have all Casper's baby grows so these are mainly from Next, Asda and Sainsbury's so I will just tag a few in the description box below but they are literally just plain baby grows so we go through so many baby grows because you probably know that Casper is a really really sicky baby so there must be probably 15 baby grows in there I think they're all stacked up nice and high but they're mainly just plain and white then we've got trousers slash joggers so we have these gorgeous again multi-pack ones from H&M so these came in a pack of five there's quite a few of them in the wash but they just look great with the t-shirts or even just a plain vest on their own and then there's also this gorgeous stripy pair from H&M as well but they don't do these anymore I'm afraid so I'm only going to be able to tag the multi-pack trousers then we've got leggings so these leggings are from Matalan and I bought these before I knew the sex of the baby and then these ones here are from Zara which my friends bought me so they've both just got the little buttons on the side really the Matalan ones are a bit of a Zara dupe 
we have more baby vests in here but these are more of the patterned ones so ones with like little patterns on or sort of more colour then we have long sleeve vests like patterned long sleeve vests these are just from Sainsbury's and I think there's one from Next as well so there's nothing that interesting about these but this is how we lay out his drawers so we've got baby growth joggers slash trousers leggings and then more vests and then obviously in the top is just all the basic stuff so now we'll move on to his actual wardrobe so i'm really obsessed with this wardrobe i came up with the idea myself if you've seen our nurse transformation video you will know that this was just one big ugly built-in wardrobe and we had it all knocked out and made into like a really gorgeous open plan space and i found these railings on etsy and just came up with an idea of having like an open plan sort of railing and i'm absolutely obsessed with it i just think it's really really nice it creates so much light and space and then i can easily see what he's got so this bottom rail is everything that fits him now so we have his gorgeous pram suit from the white company which is like a blue fluffy one and then it's also got little bear ears on the hood then we've got a grey stripy one which is also got little bear ears on the hood this is not as thick so it's nicer if it's just a little bit warmer don't actually know where this is from because it was a gift from somebody we've then got grandma's knitting so my mum actually knitted this cardigan for Casper and it's just a really easy cardigan that we shove on with like some outfits that don't necessarily go with jumpers then got this gorgeous little coat which is from Morrison's I don't think I'll be able to tag this below because I don't again I don't know if nutmeg have a website but this coat is from Morrison's and it is very very recent we've then got all the H&M stuff so H&M plain grey little hoodie zip up jacket so this goes with everything I'll shove it on with a pair of leggings or a pair of joggers and it's just one of them really easy basic little tops then we've got more basic jumpers from H&M again great with joggers great with a pair of leggings so these came in a pack of two so there was black and blue together which i have actually done in a h&m haul before there's then this spotted one as well which i bought before i knew the sex so it is definitely unisex i've seen a lot of people put it on girls but obviously i put it on casper anyway so they're all h&m jumpers we've got this gorgeous zara woolen sort of tee long sleeve t-shirt which looks gorgeous with leggings as well and then this beautiful Zara romper which doesn't actually fit him anymore but I can't bring myself to fold it and put it away because it just looks so gorgeous on the hanger. More of grandma's knitting so another knitted cardigan. We've then got these vests from Sainsbury's so they're long sleeve vests but they're just more of an outfit rather than a plain vest. I've not washed them yet because they're three to six months and they do just look a little bit big. So he is in three to six month baby grows but I feel like everything else is really really big. So maybe in sort of like a month's time i will wash these but yeah these are just from sainsbury's so there's like a deep blue then a sort of i don't know if you can see like a bluey color and then a gray these two here they both look the same color but they aren't this one is blue and then this one is gray my favorite outfit ever from zara so we've got the mickey mouse jumper and then just a pair of black leggings to go with them so I love Mickey Mouse things, especially if it's like really placid and simple like this. I hate things that are like really tackily printed all over. But this is just gorgeous and I literally cannot wait to put him in it we love a bit of disney don't we casper and then i've recently just bought these two things from next so if you follow me on instagram you will have just seen so we've got this gorgeous nordic two-piece which i'm hoping he can wear for christmas day so it's this beautiful jumper with a pair of matching leggings we've got another nordic romper one piece so these are all like really thick wool and then we have this really cute My First Christmas Baby Grow, which is just the sweetest ever. It's like a velour material. Casper has had a velour romper before from NYX and they are such good quality and really, really nice and comfortable. So that is everything that fits Casper now. There's a lot of things missing on here. As you can see, his 
wash basket is full to the brim he is a very sicky baby so there's always a lot of clothes in there rather than actually in his drawers and his wardrobe and then up here we have more three to six month things and a lot of six to nine month things so this is from Boots and this was a gift as well so I won't be able to tag this obviously with it being from Boots but it's just a really cute little green jumper with matching joggers underneath and then this one is something that I bought which I absolutely love it's from the White Company so it's this gorgeous grey jumper and then it's got these matching blue joggers with like a little grey stripe down the side like how cute are they gonna is that gonna look with like a little pair of vans or a little pair of nikes i literally cannot wait to start dressing him in dressing him in proper outfits like this i just feel like he's at an age now where everything's got to be quite plain like the plain h&m vest and the plain h&m leggings but I can't wait to start dressing him in proper outfits when he just gets a little bit bigger and a little bit chunkier. We then have two coats from next. So these are exactly the same. We've got one in a car kit and then one in a baby blue. So it's just like a plain sort of knitted thin jacket with little bears on the ears. In fact, that one's got a pom pom on, but I know that one's got little bear ears on it we then have this super cute little jumper from the white company so this is also in three to six months so i will be able to start washing things like this soon and it's just obviously got a little tractor on it it's like a proper knitted jumper and i just think you can't go wrong with like proper cute little knitted things for babies again it'll just look nice with a pair of leggings or a little pair of the thin trousers and then everything else up there is like six to nine months i can't really grab any of it because it's really high up and really far back but we've got this cute little romper that's from debenhams i think that's nine to twelve months for his holiday then this here is nine to twelve months as well it's like a little peter rabbit dungaree set then this gorgeous Zara jumper which my friend bought that's also 9 to 12 and then there's just a few little random bits back there as well so that's everything that sort of fits him now or is worthy of hanging up then we've got some of his hats so this is my favorite hat because it fits in perfectly and it's not too heavy on the top so this hat is from next and it is new in as well so it's not an old hat but it just looks perfect on him and it goes with so many of his outfits we then also have this white pom-pom hat i don't know where this is from because it doesn't have a label inside and it was a gift but i think it might have been from next and they also have them on ebay then we've got this beautiful blue pom-pom hat so this was from a client of mine who owns a boutique. So again, I can't really tag this below, but I will try and find a similar one on somewhere like eBay or Amazon. I absolutely love this hat, but Josh hates it. He just says it's really, really girly. But to me, it's just a blue hat with pom-poms on, which looks really, really cute when Cass was wearing it. And I don't think there's anything girly about it at all. And we also have another pom-pom one, grey, from Primark. If you see my Primark haul, and probably a lot of other mums Primax hauls you will know that this is from Primark there's loads of other ones in there but they're just like little basic ones but these are his sort of woolly hats for the winter then my favourite part about having a boy the trainers so these are his little pram shoes so these are the Nike Air Force ones and these are from loads of places you can get them from they're from Foot Locker, JD Sport I think foot asylum so i will link them in the description box below wherever i can find them from and then these ones here his little pram shoes they are vans so these are in the next size up so when these stop fitting him which will be quite soon because his feet are really big we will then start putting these on him i love 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 these vans josh keeps asking us if we can put them on him now but i just think we might as well get our wear out of the nike ones so i bought these from foot asylum 
I think, or Foot Locker. And to be fair, they are like 20 odd pounds, which might be expensive for baby shoes, but because they stay in such good quality, because they obviously don't touch the floor, I think you can easily resell them or save them for your next baby. And then in all these four baskets, we just have loads and loads and loads more clothes of things that don't fit him yet. So these two baskets up here are literally like six to nine, nine to 12 months. This one here is more like towels and sleeping bags. And then this one has things in that will actually fit him soon. So I'm just going to show you a few of my favourite things out of this basket because a few of them actually do need washing now. So it will give me the opportunity to put them in the wash and then I know that he has worn everything because I made a massive mistake with his not three months and I kept looking at things and thinking this looks really, really big. It's not going to fit him yet. And then by the time I actually washed it and went to put him in it, it was too small so I need to stop making that mistake with the next size up but I'm just going to show you a few of the bits that are in here now so firstly we have these H&M vests so they are like the ones that I showed you in the beginning of the video that fold down the side but these are actually long sleeved obviously for winter so these are in size two to four months and there's just like this grey and white stripy one and then a really nice cream white one. So I'm going to get these washed now but they come in a little nice two pack and I think they're only about £8. So they're not too bad. I mean it probably is quite expensive for vests but I find these are more like outfit vests rather than something that you would hide under another outfit or underneath a baby grow. Then next up i have seen so many people sharing these pajamas i'm gonna sneeze <laughs> and i kept putting it off getting them but then i just thought why am i putting it off i love christmas me and josh are obsessed with christmas and we can't wait to introduce casper to like a proper christmas so i got the gorgeous christmas h&m pajamas so these they were they come in a matching pack and there's this pair here so obviously you've got a big mickey mouse with a candy cane and then it's got gorgeous green sleeves and then that green is in the trousers it's like a really really rich beautiful green and then the next pair are just these little mini mouse mini little mickey mouse prints with snowflakes and then the matching bottoms so these come in a two pack and i bought these in four to six months because obviously Christmas is in about eight weeks now and I thought, you know, two to four months might be too small for Casper by then but they literally look huge. But when you wash clothes, especially baby clothes, they do go a tiny bit smaller so I'm hoping that by Christmas they will fit fine. But it's probably going to be one of them things again where I'm looking at these now and think they look huge but they probably will actually fit him. And there's nothing wrong with like an oversized pair of pyjamas either. So I might put one of these pairs in his little Christmas Eve box as well. I haven't decided yet. We then have some Marks and Spencers vests. So these are in a seven pack and they're just short sleeve bodysuits. So I bought these when I was pregnant and obviously we didn't know the sex. So they are unisex but they're just really, really gorgeous. I say gorgeous all the time. I need a new word in my vocabul vocabulary. I can't say that word either. So if this is really bad. Right, let's start again. So these are... A stunning little pair of vests so we've got like little stars some little triangles stripes and then just like plain ones they're all beiges and creams which are my favorite colors for casper and we have the h&m leggings slash trousers which will go really nicely with these especially if he's kind of just chilling around the house and he doesn't need anything long sleeved on or we could put like a nice little cardigan over the top so you can sort of see the pattern through like of in the outfit so obviously marks and spencers is my favorite place for baby vests you know that i've got all my plain ones from there and i'm excited to get these washed i'm actually just going to look at the size of them so these are three to six months as well and they do seem like the huge but i think again as soon as i get these washed they won't actually be that big and i find like some of the not to threes now they look like they fit him but i the, he's getting like really tight red marks like round where his nappy is i think once i actually get these washed they probably won't look as big so i'm just going to show you a few more things we've got this gorgeous little outfit from the white company so these these blue and white striped leggings 
and then this matching little white t-shirt that's got like little boats and trains and cars on it so i absolutely love the white company it's my favorite little place ever and i do find that the white company is quite small for sizing so this is three to six months so i'm going to get this washed now because i do actually think once it's been washed it will fit in perfectly and obviously with it being like short sleeved and the months are going to get colder and colder i want him to get his wear out of it now before it becomes too cold we then just have like loads of random bits from places like asda so we've got these joggers here i bought these again when i was pregnant so i don't think they'll sell them anymore but it's just a three pack of joggers so we've just got gray then ones with like triangles on and then some really dark gray ones so they're just like nice loose fitted harem joggers again they'll just look nice with a body vest underneath and maybe like a little cardigan or a zip up hoodie with those so these actually are really really long i don't think i'm going to wash these ones yet and then lastly out of this box i'm just going to show you this outfit i got from a website called crib star official so i came across this website on instagram when i was pregnant and she just does really gorgeous loungewear i know it's a woman that runs it because i watch her stories so i've got this beautiful crib cribbed ribbed cream loungewear set so it's a really gorgeous thick material really good waistband it's a beautiful color it's like a stony sandy color and it's got nice cuffs at the bottom and then this is the matching top so again it looks quite big but the top i think is meant to be like quite oversized and i think outfits like this look better oversized anyway and again when i get it washed i'm sure it will shrink a tiny tiny bit so we thought that this would look really 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 cool with his black vans and then like a little cardigan so definitely going to save this outfit for when we like go out somewhere cool but i just think it's a proper trendy little outfit and it's nice and comfy for them as well i am gonna pop on and then there's just this nice little detail in here as well just like a little label i am gonna pop myself on there and grab some more of these because i just think they're just a perfect like everyday outfit and you can make a simple outfit look really good with just like a nice hat or a nice pair of little crib shoes and also she does like really cool patterned ones so i know there's like snoopy themed there's like jurassic park there's peanut which is obviously off snoopy so as he gets a little bit older i'm gonna buy him more of those sort of like themed patterned ones as well so that's pretty much everything obviously these drawers and boxes are absolutely full of clothes but i could literally be here for like five hours if i was to show you everything that he has i just wanted to show you things that he will be wearing soon or things that he wears now and then i'm now going to pop into the lapper review yes yes so lastly we are going to go through everything from this company so i have not looked or opened any of this stuff they actually sent it me ages ago and i've just not got round to looking at it at all are you talking he loves listening to my voice so i thought that he would be nice and happy and chilled sat here next to me so the first little outfit is this blue romper so it's like a ribbed material it's like a really chalky deep ocean blue and then it's got like white little cuffs around the wrists and around the ankles so i am going to put him in a few of these things i'm not going to put him in everything because obviously that's just a little bit mean he's not a doll i'm not going to sit here and film this video and shove casper in everything but the material's really nice. It is quite thin, but obviously with the time of year anyway, you would wear a long sleeve vest underneath. So this is the first outfit. <gasps> Who's a cutie pie? <laughs> yeah. So this is the blue romper on. It is still just a tiny bit big on his arms. We could <laughs> probably fold it back if we wanted to. Should we try that, bud? But the material's really nice. It's nice and movable for him and nice and stretchy. And it looks nice and cute. It's easy to put on because you don't need to fasten all these buttons up. It's got poppers here at the bottom. So we just undid this one here, pulled it over his head and then popped the poppers on. Didn't we? Yes, we did. 
Yes, he did. Yes. Next up, we've got a blue and cream striped long sleeve vest. So I really, really like this. I think it will go lovely with a pair of leggings or lovely with a pair of joggers. It does look quite big, so I'm not sure it'll fit him just yet. But the colouring is gorgeous. As you can see, it's a similar colour to the one before, but it's just got like a nice cream stripe in it. And I just think it's gorgeous this time of year. And also, he really suits these kind of colours. I don't think you can really tell from there. Do you? Yeah, you do. Yeah. <laughs> but he does. So that's number two. Third outfit. A lot of these things are similar colours because I have so many beiges and greiges and grey that I wanted a little bit of colour. So when I could choose sort of anything that I wanted for him, I went with more blues. So firstly, we've got these gorgeous joggers. And then, excuse you, Mr Poopies. Can you actually see that poo face? Go on then, show you two your poo face. Go on. Yet. Oh, it's getting all shy now. And then this is the matching top. So this is a lot thicker than the other two, which obviously is good because it is more of a winter outfit. It is absolutely massive. I would say this is more six to nine months. So he won't be wearing this for a while. But these are the little joggers and then the little tops. That's a gorgeous outfit. I'm hoping it'll fit him after Christmas. This one is 80 and those two were 70. And I think it's based on centimetres. Casper is about 65 centimetres, I think. So obviously this one is not going to fit for a while. But like I say, the quality is really, really good. It's really nice and thick. It's got a really thick elasticated waistband. And they generally do look good quality. I would not say that they were if they weren't because I've only been sent these for free. I'm not getting paid to say this, but they do look really good quality. Next up, we have got another little set. Everything is literally blue. So we've got this gorgeous long sleeved vest with the little wooden buttons on. So really nice wooden detailing and then some matching bottoms. So this one is not as thick as the last one. The material's not as thick at all. But it's still quite nice. And I'm hoping it will fit in quite soon. This is a 70, as you can see. But the top looks like it might fit him soon. But the bottoms do look quite long. But then I think he is actually bigger than what I think. Like, I'll look at some clothes and I'll be like, they are huge, they're not going to fit him. And I'll put them on and they fit him perfectly. And I'm like, oh, right, okay. So he is actually bigger than what I thought. So lastly, is a bit different, finally. So we've got this cute little hoodie with a gingham sort of patchwork on. We've got it on the front pocket and then on the elbows. And it's got a cute little hood. And then we've got the matching pants. So they've got the gingham around the top with the elasticated waistband. And then we've got the gingham around the bottom as well. So this material is a lot different to the others. I wouldn't say it's as good quality as the ribbed ones. It does feel a little bit um, shiny, shiny. I don't really know how to describe it. Yeah, you agree, don't you? Yes, you do. So obviously I want to be as honest as possible with you and I know they've sent me them for free but you know here on this channel it's all about the honesty. So I mean obviously it is nice and I will put them, put it on him but the ribbed stuff is a lot nicer material so I would definitely go for the ribbed stuff if I was you and then obviously it's got the gingham on the inside. Casper Taylor, are you going to stop pooping? Are you going to stop pooping? Are you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I will link the links for all of these outfits that we have got from Lappa. And obviously I will link the, web the website and everything in the description box below. The rib stuff is definitely my favourite and I would say these are my least favourite. They're far too big to be putting on Casper right now but this is the smallest size that they do. I think, I don't think they'd go any lower than that anyway, so we'll have to wait a few more weeks or a few more months to put these on to Casper. So yeah, this is 
the website and that is the logo so as I say it's very similar to Pat Pat I've never ordered from there before but I know lots of people that have and it does look quite similar but it's really good pricing and the rib stuff like I said is really nice material so thank you for watching Casper's wardrobe video what do you say Casper what do you say do you say thank you thank you yeah thank you for watching so thank you for watching guys I hope you enjoy everything that you've seen I hope you find the links to the things if there's anything that I've not linked and you want to know where it's from then please just pop me a comment obviously not everything that I've got is technically linkable because some of it might be from like Sainsbury's some of it might be from Aldi for example like you can't obviously link everything but thank you so much for watching guys please make sure you give my video a good thumbs up and we will see you in the next video